So, uh, hi, my name is uh, Sandra Kantanen. I'm a photographer. I work mainly with uh, landscape and nature and um, questions about how we look at nature through images. Well, um, it's, I've been working with, with these landscape themes for 20 years. I actually started in China when I was uh, an exchange student. So um, my kind of aesthetics are, are from Asia, Asian landscape painting. So I'm a photographer, but, but I kind of borrow methods from painting to sort of discuss what the image, image could be. My work has changed during the years. In the beginning, it was about uh, uh, very much like um, painting by hand and, and making new, trying different techniques and mediums to, to sort of break the, the surface of the photograph. But later on, I've been working more with digital techniques. So in 2008, I started painting uh, digitally on top of these photographs. The latest series with the very psychedelic colors, it's, um, it's made in my hometown of Hanko. And um, <clears throat> it was very difficult for me to, to start working there because it was so close to me. I, I um, found a way to sort of understand the landscape through the history of war in this place, which is very visible. So I started staging them with smoke bombs, these forests. The earliest one is from 2004 in China, at a mountain in China. And um, there's works from Tibet in China as well. And actually one of the works is from Russia, from a place called Belomor Canal. So all of them have, have a specific story depending on the place where they were taken. But, but you can also look at them just like one series, because obviously you can recognize my, my style. <laughs> it's, it's kind of uh, layered, different techniques layered on top, and you can, you can kind of decipher what is the photograph, what has been in front of the camera and what has been done afterwards. I thought in the beginning that I could use a tripod and, you know, design the picture and this is what I wanted, but no, 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 it's not like that. Because it's so much up to wind and weather and, you know, time of year and, and when you use this smoke, it, it sometimes it just flies away in the wrong direction. So I would, I would, you know, have a gas mask and practically run, run around and find the images. So it's very much up to chance. You can clearly see what is the photograph and then the painting sort of is a layer on top of that, which is done afterwards. Before it could be different artists and painters specifically, their work. But nowadays it's more simple for me. It could be like you know, just light some, you know, water drops on the surface of, of a lake or something like this. So it has become more specific, you know, something that I see, which is important to me in, in nature. Oh, there are many, there have been many during the years. Hmm. In the beginning it was, you know, Chinese traditional painters, but at some point I started looking at, um, you know, painters like Gerhard Richter or work with sort of painting, but they use photography as, as a reference. Now, just recently, I've, I've been looking at works by this photographer, Elliot Porter, who, who was, he died a long time ago, but he was one of the first to work with, with color during a time when everybody would work black and white and he would take these incredible uh, pictures in nature. So yes, I still look at his work even though he's long gone. I have lots of dreams about going to different places and um, since I've had a, a family and small children, the past years I have learned to work, you know, from home and, and work in the environment that that is near 
but I do long, you know, to go back to China, for instance, and, and Japan, where I've been also taking pictures earlier. I also, a few years back, I signed up for a, for a moon trip around the moon. SpaceX was uh, was uh, giving out, you know, tickets for the first trip around the moon. But well, I wasn't elected, <laughs> but you know, I would go anywhere to to make some new works. I think it's about both. Um, there's a kind of like, a, well, sadness when I see the traces that that man has left. But uh, it's not only about nature, it's very much about human interaction as well. And us as looking at nature, because image making has been so um, strong and important in forming our relationship with nature, how we perceive it and, and so. I mean, starting from the Chinese traditional painters who, who would sort of um, make an illusionary um, interpretation of, of nature and, and to the more formal documentary style of, of today. But I guess it's both. I'm, I'm kind of in between. Yes. Uh, Yes and no, again, <laughs> because to me it's about the balance between what has actually been real and what has been recorded in front of the camera, because photography is always about that to me. And there's the interest also that, that you have something that has actually been there for a moment. And, and then on the other hand, the smoke, for instance, it, it works like a, as a three-dimensional paint for me that makes you know the air visible somehow. Of course it's also uh, a picture of, from you know you could say that it's an inner picture it's like you could say um, an image of me or how I think about and interpret things. Maybe like a painter you know who has a blank canvas and starts with just layering paint on top. So there are like two directions there is the reality and there is the fiction. I think it's really, really nice that, that uh, you arrange a festival and that the main point is to meet with artists and meet with the public and, and the people. So it's very different from, you know, a traditional kind of opening or exhibition where you build an exhibition and then it's ready and, and you are gone. So this is different. I come to, you know, when everything's ready, my works are up and, and I meet all the artists. It's really, really nice to talk to them. I haven't seen all the works yet, but, but I think it, it's going to be a very interesting festival.